in this class let us discuss about uh, biasing and stability so first let us see about transistor and its introduction so transistor it was found in 1947 in bell laboratories by the three scientists so the basic transistor was bjd we call it as bipolar junction transistor so here we call it as a bipolar because it consists of both holes and electrons as a transfer carriers so here the current consists in the transistor because of both holes as well as both uh, electrons so transistor is majorly three terminal device and it consists of emitter collector and base so the, the basic structure of transistor will look like this so here we can say there are two type of transistors are there one is npn transistors other one is pnp transistors so there are the two type of transistors we are having so the names of npn and pnp comes from so the structure of the transistor suppose if you consider in the three terminal device if you take uh, collector is n and base is the p and emitter is of n material then we call it as npn transistor as well as if suppose if you take emitter as p if collector has p made p type material base is n type material and emitter is p type material then we call it as pnp transistor so structure will be same but the type of the, the type of material you are using in the transistor will be different so in npn the p type material is sandwiched between two n type materials as well as when in pnp transistor n type material is sandwiched between two p type materials so if you observe in both the transistors so here we have a base collector junction so this part is base collector junction this is a pn junction either in pn or else in np also in both cases this is a pn junction here as well as we have another is base emitter junction so this is base emitter junction this is also p another pn junction diode so when you simplify the transistor it looks like uh, the, normally we use a symbol in this way this is a transistor symbol we use so this is the symbol for transistor so here we call this terminal as base and this terminal is collector and this terminal is emitter so there are the three terminals and normally here the direction the arrow when you find in the, the transistor symbol it represents the flow of current that means conventional flow of current conventional flow of current means here the arrow is in this direction conventional flow of current will be from p to n side so here it will be p type material base is p type and here it is n type material so collector is also n type material so this is pnp transistor in the same way the other symbol we use for the transistor is this is the other symbol we are having so if you observe this symbol in this symbol the arrow is in this direction so as the arrow is in, the, in this direction so here the material at this point is p so and here this is emitter this made this material is n and here also the material is p this is collector as well as this is the base so here also emitter base collector we are having arrow indicates p to n direction conventional conventional current direction other nothing but emitter current actually here so this is pnp transistor and this is npn transistor there are the two type of transistors we are using uh, we can use for bjd now how the transistor will be operated so here the transistor will be operated in different regions the basic regions are one region is cut off region other region is uh, active region and other region is saturation region so these are the three regions we use for transistor so when you use for cut off and saturation it is indicated by the junctions we are using suppose when you take uh, base to collector junction and this is base to emitter junction based on the how the junctions are biased whether they are forward biased or reverse biased based on those conditions we decide whether it is cut off or active or saturation so here if you consider the base emitter junction so if base emitter junction is reverse biased as well as base collector junction base emitter junction both are reverse biased this is called as cut off region that means if you consider a transistor as a two terminal device that means here base to collector as well as base to emitter so here this junction is reverse biased that, that means this part is open circuit and here this pn junction is also reverse biased so both are open circuit so here the transistor is completely act as a open circuit that is the cut off region and other region is active region in active region only base emitter will be forward biased but base collector is reverse biased so here base emitter will be forward biased in the active region and ba base uh, base collector is reverse biased 
that is inactive that means at input side it is have it is forward biased but output junction is reverse biased so it will have very less resistance but output junction will have a very high resistance so when you are taking the uh, when you are this is that's the name we use transistor that means transmission of resistance so from lower resistance to the higher resistance we will take the output and that is inactive region and the other one is saturation in saturation both will be forward biased so bc will be forward biased as well as base emitter junction both are forward biased that means so this junction is conducting as well as this junction is conducting when both are conducting it acts as a short circuit so here this output voltage will be very less when you use it in saturation so other than these three uh, the, uh, there is other variation that is reverse active so in reverse active that means uh, base collector is forward biased and uh, base emitter is reverse biased but uh, reverse active is uh, not having any significant use in the transistor applications so majorly we don't uh, discuss about reverse active so majorly cut off active and saturation these three we use but again in these three cut off and saturation will be used for switching operations so here if you observe the transistor transistor is having mainly two two operations one is as a linear amplifying device other one is it acts as a switch switch means it will have only two positions one is conducting other one is closed that means uh, na, uh, open that is uh, non conducting so when it is conducting that is nothing but saturation because here both junctions are forward biased when both junctions are forward biased the transistor is conducting that is a switch closed position and when you consider the cut off region in cut off region this pn junction is reverse biased as well as this pn junction is also reverse biased so both are open so transistor is completely open this is like switch open so when the transistor is operating as a switch then we use cut off as well as this is for switch operation but active will be used only for linear applications so when you use linear applications linear applications are nothing but for amplification mainly we use the active region so majorly in our analog circuits we try to use the transistor in the active region so to make the transistor into active region the base emitter should be forward biased base collector should be reverse biased so to operate the transistor in active region we can use npn in this biasing as well as pnp in this biasing so if you observe the if you carefully observe the polarities of this uh, yeah, npn transistor observe here for p to n so to forward bias this junction observe the positive polarity of vbb is connected to the base as well as negative terminal is connected to ground so because of this positive polarity is connected here this pn junction will be in conducting state similarly when you consider for np uh, pnp transistor in the pnp transistor vbb negative terminal is connected to the base so this is n type material and negative terminal is connected so all the electrons will be pulled over to the this one so here it acts as a uh, so, so here the the current conduction will be in this direction so that's why the arrow is showing the current conduction so here this is this gets forward bias in this direction so this you should consider this arrow as well as this polarity according to the polarity the for this base emitter is forward biased here and similarly because of vcc this base collector will be reverse biased in both cases this is the polarity we use and when you are using this is these are the regions in which we can operate the transistor and we can use a transistor in three different region in three different modes that is cb cc c so here first c stands for common base common emitter common collector so three regions of uh, three modes of operation we are having so in this cb means common base that means out of the three uh, terminals we use base as common and we use emitter and collector as input and output similarly base common emitter means this is the example for common emitter so if you observe these circuits here emitter is common so we are applying the base you are applying input to the base emitter junction we are taking the output from collector emitter junction so here emitter is common that is ce and cc means then we will take common collector common collector so collector is a common terminal for input as well as for output in the three uh, modes when you consider the different parameters input resistance output resistance so input resistance for cb will be very low but here the ce will be medium but for cc input resistance is high and when you consider output resistance so for output resistance for cb will be it is high and again it is medium 
and for CC it is low. So output resistance is low for the CC, input resistance is high for CC. So normally we use CC for impedance matching applications. That means input 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 impedance is very high. So we can you can connect it to the any source and output resistance is very low. So we can able to draw whatever the required current from the common collector. And when it comes to the current gain and voltage gain, so this CC will have this CV will have very low current gain or else normally you can say the current gain is approximately equal to 1. But here this CC current gain is very high but this is medium, C is medium and when it comes to voltage gain, the voltage gain for common collector is approximately equal to 1 but this is high, voltage gain for CB is high but this is medium. But other important factor is power gain. Power gain is nothing but the multiplication of current gain as well as voltage gain. So here when it comes to CB, it is low, it will be uh, medium here as well as C also it is medium. But here for C, for a common emitter it is very high, for a common emitter the power gain is very high. So normally when you are seeing the amplification purpose. Mainly uh, we require the more power gain that means more power we require at output. So maximum of the applications we use common emitter as a uh, we use the transistor in the common emitter mode. So maximum whenever you observe the transistors majority of transistors will have emitter as a common terminal for all the amplification devices. So these are the three modes we use in the transistor and these are the three regions of transistor we operate. In the three regions we use mainly in the active region for transistor. And when you see the different type of amplifiers, mainly we use CE amplifier for the amplification purpose. So the applications CB mainly you will find in the microwave applications and the CC mainly we find in the matching uh, devices to match input in, to match two different circuits. So the input impedance is very high, output impedance is very low. So mainly we use this one for matching impedances only. So for amplification purpose we use the CE amplifier. This is the introduction about transistor.